In this video, I will show you all the different trading fees that you have on the platform BingX. We'll take a look at what fees there are, how high they are. I will show you some examples and a comparison to other exchanges. If you want to get the best signup bonus possible on the platform, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here. And you can pick up up to $5,000 of bonuses, the best bonus possible. You simply have to enter your details right here and then you're ready to go. All right, so let's jump right into the order fees that you always have to pay when opening and closing a position. First of all, we have a maker fee of 0.02%. Maker fee means that you always have to pay it if you are using a limit order right here, because if you set a limit, you have to set a certain price and you will place an order in the order book, let's say, for example, at $40,000. And then only if the price goes down to that price, then your order will be executed. And then you are a market maker because you're placing an order in the order book. Then you will have to pay the 0.02%, but there's also the option of a taker fee, which is a little bit higher of 0.05%. A taker fee means you always have to pay it if you're using a market order, because at a market order, you're not placing any offer in here because you cannot set any price, but instead you are taking an offer, taking a market offer, that's why it's called taker fee, right immediately at the current market price. So the good thing is we are entering the market immediately at the current price, but therefore we have to pay a little bit of a higher price. Let's look at this little comparison. As you can see, BingX has very good fees. We have a 0.02% maker and a 0.05% taker fee. On average, that means a 0.035% fee. In comparison to all the other fees, it's a pretty good fee. We can see they are not that different in other exchanges, but it's definitely a good fee. I also calculated an example for you if you open a $10,000 position, this will mean we'll have to pay a $3.50 fee on that. I always tell people this is very low because you have to imagine the Bitcoin price or other cryptocurrencies, they move up multiple percents a day. So a 0.035% is definitely very low and won't matter that much. Let's say, for example, you have a $10,000 long position. Only if the price moves up 1%, we are making $100 of profit. So therefore, these $3.50 don't matter that much at all. Other than the order fee, we only have one more fee, which is called the funding fee. You can always see it up here. It's always shown here and it can change and you can also see a timer. So how does that work? If this is a positive sign in here, that means as a long position, we have to pay that fee at the end of this countdown. If you're having a short position instead, you would get something granted. So if it's, for example, a minus, you would get this fee as a long position and as a short position, of course, the other way around. In this case, here, if, if it's a positive sign before, you would get something funded if you have a short position. And also very important, you only have to pay that fee if this timer goes to zero. So if I would have a position opened before it goes to zero or after, I wouldn't have to pay any funding fee at all. That only applies to me if I have position opened once this timer goes to zero. And it's also important to note that this resets every eight hours. Don't forget to create an account on BingX by using the link down from the video description to get the best signup bonus possible of up to $5,000. If you need more tutorials on BingX, you can find them on my channel. And if you have any other questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.